Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today, we're diving into the cockpit of one of China's most controversial and intriguing fighter jets, the J-10C Vigorous Dragon. Is it a dragon ready to breathe fire or just another overhyped machine? Stick around to find out. In this episode, we'll uncover how the J-10C blends cutting-edge tech with tactical ingenuity while also addressing the elephant in the room. Can it really compete with Western fighters like the F-16 or even the F-35? Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Did you know there are reports suggesting that Pakistan's J-10C fighters may have downed Indian jets operating Rafals during an aerial clash? If true, this would mark a monumental moment in military aviation history. A Chinese-built jet taking on one of the West's premier fighters. So, how did the vigorous Dragon pull it off? Let's break it down. The story of the J-10 begins in the late 1980s during a time when China's military aviation was still playing catch-up. Back then, the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAAF, relied heavily on outdated Soviet designs like the MiG-21 and J-7. These planes were fine for their era, but were woefully inadequate against modern Western fighters. Enter the Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, CAIG, tasked with creating a fourth-generation multi-role fighter that could rival the likes of the F-16 and Mirage 2000. But here's the kicker. China didn't exactly start from scratch. The initial design borrowed heavily from Israel's Levy fighter program, which was canceled in the 1980s. Some say the J-10 is more inspired than original. But hey, who doesn't love a good remix? The first prototype took flight in 1998, but development wasn't smooth sailing. Engineers faced challenges ranging from engine reliability to avionics integration. It wasn't until 2004 that the J-10A entered service, and even then, it was clear that China wasn't done tweaking. Fast forward to today, and we have the J-10C, a beast of a machine packed with modern tech and capabilities. So, what exactly is under the hood of the J-10C? Picture this. A delta wing with canards, giving it incredible agility and maneuverability. This design isn't just for show. It allows the vigorous dragon to pull off some insane G-forces during dogfights. And let's not forget the WS-10B turbofan engine, which finally gave China a reliable domestic power plant after years of relying on Russian AL-31 engines. But the real magic happens inside the cockpit. The J-10C is equipped with an advanced AESA radar system capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously. Pair that with PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles, and you've got yourself a serious contender in the skies. Oh, and did I mention it can carry precision-guided munitions for ground attack missions? Versatility at its finest. Now, here's where things get interesting. While the J-10C isn't technically a stealth aircraft, it does incorporate some low observable features, like radar absorbent materials and redesigned intakes. Think of it as stealth light, a compromise between cost and capability. Sure, it won't sneak past an F-35 undetected, but it's enough to give older radar systems a headache. And let's talk about data links. The J-10C uses a modern data link system that allows it to share targeting data with other aircraft and ground stations in real time. Imagine a network of fighters working together like a hive mind. That's the kind of synergy the PLAF is aiming for. Let's talk about one of the most intriguing claims to emerge from recent conflicts. Reports that Pakistan's J-10C fighters may have downed Indian jets operating the French-made Rafale during an aerial clash. While these claims remain unverified, they raise some fascinating questions about the capabilities of the J-10C 
and its role in modern air combat. For context, both the Rafale and the J-10C are classified as 4.5 generation fighters, advanced aircraft that incorporate cutting edge technology without reaching the full stealth and sensor fusion capabilities of fifth generation platforms like the F-35 or J-20. But here's where things get interesting. The Rafale is widely regarded as one of the most capable multi-role fighters in its class, with a price tag to match around $100 million per unit. Meanwhile, the J-10C is estimated to cost just $50 million, a bargain by comparison. The alleged engagement reportedly took place during heightened tensions between India and Pakistan, with Indian Rafales squaring off against Pakistani J-10Cs. According to the South China Morning Post, this would mark a significant milestone. The first battlefield encounter pitting a NATO standard Western fighter against a Chinese-built jet. If true, it would signal a major victory for China's military aviation industry, showcasing the J-10C's ability to hold its own against one of the world's premier fighters. But how did the J-10C manage to outperform the Rafale? Let's break it down. While the Rafale boasts the Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite, a system so advanced that it can detect, jam, and confuse enemy radars, the J-10C counters with its own state-of-the-art ASA radar. This radar system allows the vigorous Dragon to track multiple targets simultaneously and engage them with precision-guided munitions. In a dogfight scenario, the J-10C's agility and speed could give it an edge over the Rafale, especially at close range. Additionally, the J-10C is equipped with the PL-15 missile, which has a range exceeding 200 kilometers. Compare that to the Meteor missile carried by the Rafale, which has a slightly shorter range. In beyond visual range engagements, the PL-15's extended reach could allow the J-10C to strike first, potentially neutralizing threats before they even know what hit them. When it comes to maneuverability, the J-10C's delta wing and canard configuration make it incredibly agile. This design allows it to perform tight turns and rapid accelerations, essential for evading missiles and gaining positional advantage in a dogfight. The Rafale, while also highly maneuverable, relies more on its thrust vectoring engines and advanced fly-by-wire systems to achieve similar results. In a hypothetical head-to-head -head battle, the J-10C's lighter frame and superior acceleration might allow it to dictate the terms of engagement, forcing the Rafale into defensive maneuvers. One of the most compelling arguments in favor of the J-10C is its cost effectiveness. At half the price of a Rafale, the vigorous Dragon offers a formidable combination of speed, firepower, and versatility. For countries like Pakistan, which operate on tighter defense budgets, the J-10C represents an attractive alternative to Western fighters without sacrificing too much in terms of capability. If the claims of the J-10C downing Rafales prove accurate, it would underscore the importance of tactics and pilot skill in determining the outcome of aerial engagements. After all, even the most advanced aircraft is only as good as the person flying it. A victory for the J-10C over the Rafale would be more than just a tactical win. It would represent a symbolic triumph for China's defense industry. For decades, Western fighters like the F-16 and Rafale have dominated the global market, setting the standard for performance and reliability. If the J-10C can demonstrate parity or even superiority in combat, it could reshape perceptions of Chinese military hardware and open new doors for exports. However, skeptics point out that the J-10C's success may depend on specific circumstances, such as numerical superiority or favorable terrain. The Himalayan region, where these clashes reportedly occurred, presents unique challenges that could favor the lighter and faster J-10C over the heavier Rafale. That said, the J-10C isn't without its weaknesses. Its limited range and reliance on external fuel tanks could restrict its operational flexibility in prolonged missions. Additionally, 
While its AESA radar is impressive, it lacks the Rafale's advanced electronic warfare capabilities, which could prove decisive in high-intensity conflicts. Ultimately, the alleged victory of the J-10C over the Rafale highlights the evolving nature of air combat. It's no longer just about who has the best technology, it's about how that technology is used in conjunction with strategy, training, and situational awareness. At the end of the day, whether or not the J-10C truly downed Rafales, the mere possibility speaks volumes about the shifting dynamics in global air power. The vigorous Dragon has proven itself to be more than just a budget-friendly alternative. It's a legitimate contender in the arena of modern aerial warfare. So, what do you think? Is the J-10C the real deal? Or is it still playing catch-up to Western fighters? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into military tech. Thanks for tuning in to Military Forces Unleashed. Your support keeps this channel flying high. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring the ever-evolving world of military aviation. See you soon.